Labour has already disappointed millions of pensioners in the United Kingdom by cutting their winter fuel payments. This year, millions of pensioners will be forced to choose between heating and eating. Amidst all this, one of Labour's MPs has now claimed the energy costs from the taxpayers' money and pissed off all the British people. According to the report, Secretary of State for Work and Pensions, Elizabeth Louise Kendall, popularly known as Liz Kendall, has now claimed the energy costs up to £350 a month from the taxpayers' money. She was Labour's cabinet minister, who voted to cut winter fuel payments and helped Labour implement that policy in the United Kingdom. However, she has now claimed a total of £3,810 in energy costs between April 2023 and July 2024, with the largest monthly bills totaling £352. Now that she has been enjoying the energy costs while forcing the pensioners to live in the cold, she has been hugely criticized by the opposition and the British people. Similarly, pensioners are now furious at her and Labour for showing the highest level of hypocrisy. Meanwhile, Reform UK's Nigel Farage slammed Labour by saying, The hypocrisy of the Labour government knows no bounds. I will not be claiming a penny in expenses for my heating. Meanwhile, Conservative MP David Simmons slammed Liz Kendall by saying, this revelation will be a kick in the teeth for the 10 million pensioners facing choosing between heating and eating this Christmas because of Labour and Liz Kendall's political choice to cut the winter fuel payment. While Liz Kendall is living a life of luxury, the country is facing real-life consequences of Labour's ill-thought-out decisions. Unfortunately, a source close to Liz Kendall has defended her by saying, The accommodation costs budget is designed to meet costs incurred by MPs, as a result of working from two permanent locations. Members of all parties are entitled to this, and they continue paying their utility bills for their own homes like everyone else. With this, Labour has now proved that they really don't care about the old and vulnerable pensioners and only care about their personal benefits. Do you think this Labour government is a hypocrite? Please like the video if you agree and comment down your thoughts.